All right, so in this problem, I have m minus n squared is equal to m squared minus n squared. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by rewriting m minus n squared. And I'm going to rewrite this to m minus n times m minus n. Now from here, I'm going to expand this by multiplying these two. So to multiply these two, I'm going to first start by distributing the m. m times m is m squared. m times negative n is negative mn. Now I'm going to distribute the negative n. Negative n times m is negative mn. And negative n times negative n is positive n squared. So I have this is equal to m squared minus n squared. Now, I can do a few things here. I can first start by subtracting m squared on both sides. So this way, these two m squares cancel out. And now I'll be left with negative mn minus mn plus n squared is equal to negative n squared. Now, negative mn minus negative mn is equal to negative 2mn. And then now if I subtract m squared on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get negative 2n squared. Now from here, I can divide both sides by negative 2. So then these two negative 2s cancel out, these two negative 2s cancel out, and I'm simply left with mn is equal to n squared. Now from here, I'm going to subtract mn on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get n squared minus mn is equal to 0. Now the greatest common factor in n squared minus mn is n. So if I factor out n, I get n times n minus m is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I get n is equal to 0, which is already a solution. And I also get n minus m is equal to 0. Now, Going back to our original equation, we have m minus n squared is equal to m squared minus n squared. If n equals 0, I get m minus 0 squared is equal to m squared minus 0 squared, which turns into m squared is equal to m squared, meaning m can really equal any number. If m equals 5, then I have 5 squared is equal to 5 squared. If m equals 100, I get 100 squared is equal to 100 squared. So m can equal any number if n is 0. Now for here, I have n minus m equals 0. So if I add m on both sides, I get n is equal to m. Now, if I put this back into my regular equation, I, get, I have m minus n squared is equal to m squared minus n squared, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewrite n as m because they're both equal to each other. So now I have m minus m squared is equal to m squared minus m squared. m minus m is 0, so I have 0 is equal to 0. And this means that They're both equal to 0. So now going back, what I'm going to do is do a different method to solve this problem. 
So method two is, first let's rewrite the equation. We have m minus n squared is equal to m squared minus n squared. And now this time, I'm going to again expand m minus n squared to m minus n times m minus n. And now from here, I'm going to rewrite m squared minus n squared as m plus n times m minus n. Because if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So now, as you see, we can simply divide both sides by m minus n, cancel these two out. So now I'll be left with m minus n is equal to m plus n. Meaning, if I subtract m on both sides, I get negative n is equal to positive n. If I add n on both sides, I get 2n is equal to 0, meaning n is also equal to 0. And if n equals 0, then remember how we already tried this out, m is also equal to 0. So these are my two solutions to this equation.